What is good, YouTube? So, we're back with another series called Stories in an Airbnb. So, okay, so real quickly, okay, I lived in an Airbnb for a few years, and so I got the craziest stories because you know, people come in and out internationally, locally. Some people are cool, some people are all right, and some people are just flat out psychotic. So, I got some really cool stories. So, Without further ado, let's get into some stories. Okay, so for episode one, I want to talk about this crazy couple who try to like have like an, an, an orgy like with me and a girl that I was talking to. Okay, so here's how it started, right? I met a girl, she was a whole basket case, but that's a different story for another time. But anyways, like it was me and her hanging out, like so I invited her back to Airbnb, you know what I'm saying? She um, spent the like a night or two before, so me and her, we were chilling, and everything was cool, you know what I mean? So we decided to go to the backyard, and now the backyard had a pool area. So we saw two chairs, we started standing in the two pool chairs, having a good time. Boom, so a couple comes to us, right? just like a tall guy and like this you know, kind of beautiful girl right boom so they look at they look at us and they're like oh um we were sitting there in the soul like without no hesitation without just no without skipping a beat me and the girl we were, we were like okay like that sucks like it was so nonchalant like we did not care at all it was like okay like, like, like we, we was on some like thug shit. Like we, we don't care if that was your spot. You got up, we now sit here, you know? It was that type of vibe. After after uh, that happened, like like they didn't say nothing. Um, It was it was like a little silence. And then they were like, oh, like, hi, where are you from? Like the um the girl, she, she, she was like, oh, like, hey, what's up? And, and then we'd say hi back to her. And then now this was one of the first red signs. Me, like, first of all, let's just back a little bit. Me, I'm very very like analytical like I am thinking 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 observing watching picking up clues all the time especially when I'm meeting new people I did that for a very very long, long time so so anyways like she looked up at her boyfriend and she was like babe I told you that I would find no no she said babe I told you that we would find another couple here so for me I'm thinking I was like oh okay like, this is something we're like they're looking for like a you know I'm saying a little like two and two type of situation like a, a swingers type of situation I was like well first I didn't think nothing too much of it I just had that in the back of my head. I said, like, okay, cool. So I moved on. So they kept like the whole the whole night, like we were hanging out with them, right? Maybe like two hours, right? We were with them. Um, they were just asking us a lot of questions, a lot of questions. And then um, all of a sudden, like the guy, you know, they were wanting to get drunk and stuff. So we were drinking and all that. And then of course, you know what I'm saying? Once drinks are getting involved, the real people started to come out. So of course, um, you start to see like what's going on the people they break their guard and, and they become their real selves when they had the alcohol so boom right the girl uh she started telling us like a little like a little bit of stuff and all of a sudden like the guy he, he started getting like really weird like you can tell he was one of those kind of like controlling types like with this girl like you know what i mean so yeah I left to go do something and like she would tell us stuff like oh you know he i think he said i think she said that like, he beat her or something like that and then said that you know, he gets really crazy and stuff when he's drunk and all that i was like okay okay so then right so then let's let's get right into the crazy stuff so boom like i'm I started getting a weird vibe. Like after I'm around people long enough, I, I always pick up a, a weird vibe. So I'm like, I told the girl, I'm like, hey, like this, this is a weird situation, and these people are a little bit weird, and so like we should not like, like, like we should just dip and go back upstairs. For her, like she's like, oh no, like I really want to like hang out with them. I mean, new people, like, like me and her were the, we were the opposites. Like I'm very like reserved, and for me to hang out with new people. I gotta really know people a long time and it has to really build for me to get comfortable. For her, she was a, an extrovert and so like she had like, you know, a really big like, this idea of like social presence, like she's really social and talkative and, and stuff like that. So she didn't want to stay talk. I'm like, okay, like, but it's a weird situation. So I just went back upstairs. She stayed downstairs, right? 
then all of a sudden like maybe a couple like maybe what 30 minutes later go by maybe 30 minutes goes by and then she she comes up to me she comes back upstairs and she goes yo like the crazy stuff the craziest thing just happened so she went to hang out with the two in the room and then she said the guy he got naked and he tried to have like a threesome with you know his girl and then the chick I was seeing, right? And then so she, she wasn't with that. She was like, whoa, like what the heck? Like, whoa. And then so she left, went back up to us. She went back upstairs to where I was at. And I'm like, I told you, I knew it, like certain things I could just, I could just feel like, feel like it was weird. And the, the guy was on some, some freaky vibe and they were trying to get a, a two on two swingers type of situation. I already feel that. And the fact that that happened just made just made me more confident in my ability to really scope out situations and really just like trust my feelings of what some don't don't really seem right. Right? So it's like boom, okay. He was treating her kinda like wrong. Like he would be like, oh like come here. Like cause he was like naked, so he always wanted to just grab his girl or whatever. And so they did they thing, you know, just just the two of them. And so like she she went back upstairs with me. And I'm like, man, like and then, and then the next morning, um, she had lost one of her like little vaping things or whatever. She let the girl borrow it, right? But then the girl never gave it back. And then so the next day, she she tried to text him like, oh, like hey, I think you guys have my you know my thing. First they they're trying to deny it. They're like, oh no. And then like they left. So they only stayed at the Airbnb for the for the night. They left in the morning. So you know it turns out that they did they did steal her little puff thing and, and they never. Gave back to her so they were weird they were trying to have a foursome they stole her little puff bar they were like very weird they were like the guy was you know getting a little too weird with his girlfriend you know so that whole interaction with them was just weird man so like i said if you're in the airbnb be careful if you get a weird feeling from someone or from a couple trust that because at the end of the day you don't know them you don't know people's backgrounds you, you don't know if it's a full background check like just trust your feelings play it cool play it safe like i said you don't know these people but all right thank you guys very very much and there will be a second second and third and fourth and fifth part of this because i have a lot of stories we started light today all right guys peace peace peace